After all this time and all these years, people really know very little about water in respect. To, uh, they just assume they've been drinking it for such a long time. Okay, I drank it when I was four years old and now I'm 32 or 48 or whatever and I'm drink, still drinking uh, this water. But they haven't looked at it or really realized what may be in that water. And what's really astounding to people, what really amazes them is that a lot of the protection that you and I have uh, in reference to drinking water standards and water quality uh, at different levels, most of that was put in place before World War II, before the atomic bomb. So all this legislation that you see to protect us was way back then. And there's very little, little has been done to really protect us against the modern or the, the chemical world that we're in or our environment today. A water distiller is really interesting because it's quite simply, it's a, it's a rain making machine in a box. And it allows the rain after it, it's, uh, after the water, after the vapor has condensed and formed rain to maintain the same purity as it's falling through its enclosed environment. Uh, very much like the hydrological cycle uh, that we see today in nature. And actually, that's really what it, 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 um, it mimics. Uh, water will rain, and it'll rain and water will fall in a river, in a lake, in a stream, in your lawn, and it'll infiltrate, and then maybe go through aquifers and work back up into a stream, and then from the stream out into the ocean. Go well, through this entire cycle at any point in time, uh, uh, the sun is, is out there and the water will start evaporating. And, and the evaporation process is what purifies the water. No matter what it's gone through, it may have gone through sewerage, it may be sewerage water. No matter what it's gone through, where it's been, whether it's been in ocean water or not, it's, it eva the evaporation process takes place. In taking place, it, it eliminates and drops all the, all the contaminants, the poisons, the toxins that are in that stream, river, lake, pond, oil or gas uh, uh, pond, whatever it is, it leaves them behind. And then it rains, it purifies it, and it rains back down. And it's like drinking raindrops. The purest raindrops because in nature nowadays we have to be concerned about uh, when it drops back down from those clouds because it, you've heard of things such as acid rain and other things that will re can recontaminate that water before it hits the ground even. So what this does, it protects it and, and purifies it so you've got pure H2O. Thank you.